Hi, my name is Angela. In this video, I'm going to be talking about um, two things relating to feelings um, within my training. One is burnout and the other is career changes. I currently am a PGY1 resident in an ambulatory care track type of training. And these are two feelings I felt very strongly or I felt strongly about as a resident. And so I thought it'd be useful to cover it for anyone who uh, just may need a little bit of insight or maybe advice. I'm not saying I know a ton about either, but I thought I would just share what I've gone through. So first to talk about burnout, which everyone probably knows is an issue uh, across the healthcare field and in others. So pharmacy school, I definitely felt burnout. I don't want to make it seem like this is the first time in my life I've been burnt out, but with exams, assignments, rotations, sometimes it felt like I had no work, but other times it felt like I, that's the only thing I had was work, you know, and back then in school, you have your summer and your winter breaks, which are just so nice, which we don't get anymore once you leave. But I think the difference between pharmacy school is that you had a lot more downtime and the turnaround time for stuff was a lot longer. And when you submit an assignment, you get a grade. You don't get then revisions that you have to incorporate and then resubmit and then further revisions and then resubmit. Um, you know, it, it's kind of a different process with the work that you do. And then um, I definitely got the little bit of senioritis towards the ends of rotations, but I had NAPLEX and, and MPJ East to study for. So it's kind of the next thing to keep me going. So that's kind of like my history going into residency training, but I would say burnout in residency training grew initially because you know we're going into another tough year of training whereas not everyone in your class is going to pursue residency training or maybe they wanted to and they and they couldn't uh, get one so you're going to feel like you're starting a big workload and others are maybe kicking it back even though you know it's not the case but um, it really started for me in October um, because that's when uh, things started to compile in terms of deadlines I was used to my responsibilities a little bit more, but yet there were new ones and I wasn't sure what was coming next. Uh, the, I just started to notice the feelings of in the morning. I was, it was just a drag to get up. I felt very dead in the morning to like get things going. My list of things to do just never seemed to end. And I always added things to it. It seemed like every two, tw twice a day, three times a day, I just kept adding projects to do's. Um, the days are really full. They just feel full of meetings of patient care, of catching up with people, of working on your projects, of emails, emails, <laughs> a ton of emails. So it just feels full and you feel like everything's pressing into your time. Um, I would say that just persisted until December when we had a research month, so it lightened up a little bit. But I would just say after that and going into 2022, uh, it got worse and February was the worst because I was going through PGY2 interviews and deadlines definitely kicked in and it was starting to be those spring projects which were getting um, you know turned over. The days flew by, I will say that, it went like really quickly, but they were not fun days. And I, my mindset kind of flipped from you know, how much work can I get done tonight to when can I just take a break this evening, you know, on my after I got home from rotation. So it's just harder to find time to relax. You just feel you can't justify any time away from the work that you do because it's all just coming and coming and coming. So um, I felt fatigued. I felt anxiety. I um, lost, a, I would say, a fair amount of joy that I had previously from my projects or my patient care encounters. So I would just say that it's it's a real thing. This is I'm just describing the process for me as a resident and what I went through it. Um, I would say after match and, and having a, a match result made it feel a little bit better. And so now it's kind of waxing and waning as I finish out residency training. But I will say that my family, my friends, and my, um, you know, my faith, other things in my life helped me keep grounded, helped me keep just sure that this was the right path for me and it wouldn't go on forever. Um, I just think I got a taste of what burnout could feel like as opposed to a pharmacy student. And I know that this is just one example and it could feel a lot of ways to a lot of different people. Um, my, my burnout is not individually COVID burnout, which I know a lot of people struggle with. So I just, I just, my only advice for this is like, don't blame yourself. You know, um, you're not alone. Try to find ways to frame your situation in a positive light. Yes, you have all this work. Yes, you feel burnt out, but it won't last forever. Um, you're managing a really difficult situation and you will build skills and you will build character from that. So it's not going to be useless. 
um, and you'll be proud in the end. You know, you, you know several pharmacists who you aspire to be, be like or become who've gone through residency training. So you know it's kind of the path and that you can, you can go down it as well. Vent if you need to. So your family's there. They may not understand what you're talking about when you vent about certain projects. But um, I noticed that that's something I needed to do. I needed to vent about it. I needed to have another human being hear what I was going through. Don't try to drown it out with other things. You just sometimes need to feel how dead it is sometimes that you're burnt out. Tell someone about it and then do the other strategies, which I mentioned to keep going. So that's what I would say. I'm so sorry for anyone who experiences burnout because it's not fun. The next thing I want to talk about is career changes. So I have uh, chosen to do a PGY2 in ambulatory care, which was my plan initially, but the type of program I chose and the location and all other things like that um, really changed a lot when I became a PGY1 resident. So I think even going through the interview process was tough because I was asking them questions, and they were asking me questions, and it wasn't like PGY1 interviews where I was very sure of what I wanted. It was kind of like, oh yeah, you know, I like that, but I'm not quite sure. Not, so I didn't feel as sure of myself because I was going through a career change. I would just say, um, be honest um, in the interviews. I, the times that felt the best was when I was just honest with where I was at. You know, I think this is the right choice for me, but I'm not sure. Could you help me? Could you help me explore this? And the interviewers likely know that you don't know, have it figured out. You know, they're several years into their careers and they, they can understand that there's only so much you can know at this time. So I think personally being honest is what helped me. And then you can just find yourself even through the interview process, even through your encounters with these programs as you are finding new opportunities, you'll kind of know, you'll kind of figure it out as you go. So I think you they help you think outside the box. It's maybe not the best or the most fun way to do it, you know, going through the, the interviews and the process and the scheduling and the, and the payments and all that stuff. But I did help, it helped me find out who I am, who I, yeah, who I am a little bit more. Um, so it, it was overall beneficial giving, having a career change. And um, I'll just have to see, you know, with PGY2 a year, if it happens again, we get so much hands-on experience with residency. You absolutely get exposed to a lot of different areas. So you kind of know what is the best for you, um, at least in a general sense at this point in your life. You know, who knows as your life changes. But I think um, post-match, as I said, I kind of felt less burnt out. And also the career choice I had made kind of sunk in um, I think sometimes it'll come, it'll bubble up and I'll kind of feel the old path that I had or that I wanted kind of come up and, and I'll feel a little unsettled, but I think I really am excited to start this new path and it's the choice that I made after a long deliberation. So just know that it doesn't feel hundred percent, but it still feels like the right choice. So that was just my experience of going through a career change and kind of how I got through it, but let me know what you guys think. If you want to put any thoughts, comments, questions in the comment box below, please do. These videos are to help you all who are watching to see what it's like from a pharmacy resident perspective. Um, like the video if you liked it and share it with someone else who you think it could be helpful for. Um, otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.